Guess what I got? Yes. I got a Prusa 2020. Look at this. <laughs> I'm also using a manual focus on my camera right now, so... Apologies for it not being in focus 99% of the time, but it, you're just going to have to deal with that. I'm not making any sort of like log or anything for this. Uh, I just wanted to record this and say, hey, look what I'm doing. I'm, I'm building the Prusa 2020. Prusa 2020 is the only Folger Tech printer I did not own up until now. So um, I was fortunate enough to talk to John Folger, and he uh, said he had one of these returned uh, which is unfortunate. I'm sorry to whoever had this before. And they had to return it for whatever reason. So, um, regardless, they returned it. And he was like, here, I have a return kit. I don't know what's wrong with it. Have fun. Uh, the only thing I found so far is that the uh, Arduino is burnt out, which is fine. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll just throw in a different board or another Arduino board. But it's all good. So, uh, shortly... Once I get this thing done, I'm only two hours in, and I'm, you know, pretty far along. Of course, this is my fifth 3D printer I've ever built, so I know what I'm doing. Um, this is probably the easiest printer that we have. So if you're if you want a beginner kit, this is definitely the one I want to recommend. I've always said that anyway, but actually building it myself now, I can really stand by that. So yeah, I'll probably I might include some uh, other other video with this, but uh, just wanted to let you guys know. So, uh, cool. Yeah. Prusa 2020 on the way. Yeah. More progress has been made. Um, well, partially. I got this thing on. Uh, bed is on. This uh, Everything moves. Um, let's see if I can get this. Like I said, not using autofocus. Everything moves. It moves up and down. This The Y will move back and forth. The issue is, and if you're uh, if you've done one of these kits before, you know what I'm talking about. The Y is free moving. Why is that a bad thing? Well, you're supposed to have some uh, threaded rods that control the actual movement. Remember how I told you this was a returned kit? Well, none of it was inventoried when it got back to uh, Folger Tech, so. Seems to me like the threaded rods are not in there. So, you know, whoever whoever this kit came from did not uh, include that in the return. Which is fine. I mean, it's a threaded rod and a nut. I can go to Lowe's and get those tomorrow. I'm not worried about it. I already told uh, John Folger about it. And he's like, yeah, I'll send you some. I'll send you whatever parts you need. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's a threaded rod. I'll be fine. I might even have some threaded rod. I have to look. Um, but... Yeah, otherwise, it's looking really good. I'm excited. I'm going to have a Prusa 2020. The only Folger Tech printer I don't have. All right, onward. And finally, it's printing. Yeah. So this is a few days later. Um, I've been busy the past couple of days, so I haven't had a chance to work on this. But... Um, just to see, you can see, this is the first print that, I've, that I'm doing. This is the first print that this printer has ever printed, which is cool. Um, so what happened was, was the um, Arduino Mega that came with this originally was blown out. That was fine. Got a different one, um, found out that both the ramps boards that um, I guess came with it, the original one and one I guess we sent as a replacement originally to whoever had this, both of those were bad, so I just took the ramps from my Prusa i3, the uh, acrylic version, and threw it on here since I don't use that printer very much. And uh, everything's working beautifully. Things nice and quiet. Just uh, messing around with leveling the bed. I still have to do a little bit more. I hate the ZN stops on these printers, but, you know, uh, there is a adjustable one I'm probably going to print, but uh, it's printing nicely. I'm super happy. It's not like I was expecting it to not work, but, you know, it looks nice. Focus. Yeah. Like I said before, I'm using manual focus because I'm a loser. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, I got nothing really else to say. 
I'm super happy that this thing is now built, um, and I now have to find, Pam a place to put it, because I have Cloner, FT5, uh, Castle. There's room over here, but remember I also have the other Prusa to put somewhere. So, and then Computer. So yeah, I'll find a place to put it, but uh, cool. I now have all the Folger Tech 3D printers. Yeah, so expect some videos on this as I make them. So now you can ask me about any of the five printers and I'll know what I'm talking about to some degree. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I don't know how short this is. I just know that there's a couple clips that I've used. So yeah, otherwise, uh, I have nothing else to say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and commenting if you want and possibly even subscribing if you want to. I'm almost to a thousand. Um, I'm super excited for that. And, uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say. So, until the next video, I'll see y'all later.